Parabell, part three, from Rags to Riches, another one of Darkie Martin's stories. I've been there now for a couple of months, getting used to the way things were going at the gym. I was training a lot of fighters, you know what I mean, and everything was looking hunky dory. Anyway, one morning I got up and I was having breakfast like I could see like from the window of the penthouse like down into some shanty towns and I see these kids playing about, you know, steaming one another like we used to play when we were kids but one of the kids like, every time it was his turn they kept running away so I had my breakfast, finished it off like and jumped in the shower put a nice bit of clubber on and I was there, you know what I mean? Jumped in the motor Driving down the road, you know, place called Parin Yaggy, I think it was called. Anyhow, headed on straight down to the gym, but I noticed there was a bit of traffic built up on I had a stop line, like, but where I stopped was right outside the front of the Shanty Town entrance line. And I see the kids like sitting on the wall, and he runs over to me, the big one, the one they kept running away from. And he shouts, Hey, sir, what is your car? It's a nice car, I like your car, sir. What is your work, sir? What are you going, sir? You know, the way they fire a lot of questions at you. So I says to him, yeah, all right then, you know how I mean. I... What is your job, sir? Trainer down at the gym, I told him. I like fighting, sir. I want to be a champion. Traffic started moving and I had to get away, like so. I says, I'll right, see you later, sir. And I was on my way. Got down to the gym and then, and I had a fantastic day, like there was some new fires in there. A couple of days later, I said to myself, I'd better take the car for a clean. I thought the car needs a bit of a clean, and I popped in there. When I popped in there, I, I see these kids. Right? And the same fella comes running up to me, and he started sparring and ducking and diving, and he says to me, Fighting, sir. I like fighting boxing, sir. I want to be a champion. Well then, if you want to do boxing, I can take you down the gym. You meet me Thursday afternoon, and I'll take you down the gym. Anyway, what's your name? My name's Daniel Polilio, sir, but everybody call me Danny. So as he kept like sparring, ducking and diving while his couple of mates were polishing away at the car, I'm sure he should have been polishing and all. But anyhow, I says to him, Danny, listen, if you want to do boxing and then I can train you, you come down on the Thursday and then I can start training. Anyhow, after they finish cleaning the car, I'll give them like 500 pesos each. They all started shouting, thank you sir, thank you sir, thank, thank you sir. All jumping for joy. This is about having 500 pesos. That's about five quid, then I was off. Come Thursday, Danny did show up. He showed up with his couple of mates, you know what I mean? And I started training. But I could see he was a real fit young lad, real determined, you know what I mean? And he had a good sense of... You know what I mean? Aggression. He's only 16 and he lived with his dad. His mum had left his dad because his dad was on the sauce all the time and kept bringing the money to the cockfights and that. So the arena and losing a lot of money. So then he was just like wanting something to do. He was nearly 17. And I thought, well, I better train this kid because he's determined. And I thought I'll give him a bit of extra training. So I upped his running and gave him a couple of miles more. And then he was doing more like weight training and other things that he'd never done before I was getting him to do. The kid was loving it, you know what I mean? I'll tell you what, mental training, you know what I mean? Bad fighting, you know what I mean? So I started treating him like a son. Kept on training him harder though, you know what I mean? 